Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and you guys are quick. Uh, I just posted a video on this uh, Christmas tree and how to do the the uh, insert so it would set. And if you haven't watched that one, you might want to watch that one. But uh, somebody's already asked how though how did I get the lines at right angles evenly? And I did not draw that tree, but I drew this tree, and it's pretty easy. Just take, and I've been playing around, take a rectangle. You don't have to hold down the control button and make it about the shape you want. Let's make it a little bit taller. Let's go ahead and put it in the center of the page. I like drawing in the center of the page. Then go up to range and... Convert it to a curve. Then take your shape tool and move this node to the center. And it will actually tell you what it's at the midpoint. So now you have that shape. You could have drawn that shape with a three-sided polygon. But we need to now select the two nodes on the right and add nodes. It's going to add nodes on the left, but we don't really care. We're not, we're not going to be bothered by them. Now, I've already noticed it's a little bit too skinny on top. I'll tell you what, let me back up here. Let me, I'm going to do a few less nodes. And this is how I drew it. If somebody wanted it like this, like a modern type tree, I would take a two-point line and draw it from there to there and see what my nudge distance is. And it's, I'm going to nudge it off a quarter of an inch. I'm going to grab my line and move it off Let's say a half. Well, let's make it three quarters of an inch. So now you've got all your nodes. And it might not work out mathematically, but we're going to give it a shot. Take that nut. Well, what we also need to do is uh, there's a couple things you could do. You could draw another line. And it's going to be real hard to uh, hit it. So we're going to cursor over just that quarter of an inch. And for this video, I'm going to make this one over another quarter of an inch to give me a little definition. What I'm using those lines for is going to be indexing. So I've got my shape there. I'm going to take the first one out to there. I'm going to bring the next one up to there. And you don't have to worry about it being perfect. I'm going to bring the next one up to there. I'm going to bring this to my indexing line and see they're not even yet. And I've already seen that I haven't drawn enough nodes, but this will give you some sense. We're going to go out and up. And if you want them in the exact same spot, you hold down your control button and they'll do that. Then let's just add a node right there. I'm just double clicking the line. Whoop. I grab two nodes. And let's put it right there. That doesn't look half bad. Now let's take away our two lines that we're using for indexing. And the main question of that person is how do I get this even? With your shape tool, select your item, select both those and go right here to align nodes and then check horizontally. See it's putting it at a right angle. Select both, align horizontally. Check both, and you would need probably more tree than that, more nodes than that. But this way, they're at right angles, and I'm pretty sure that's what the question was. Now, we've done half the tree, and if you've watched enough of my videos, I'm going to put it in the center of the page now, and I'm going to draw just a two-point line holding down the control button, and I'm going to hit P. And really, I shouldn't have moved it over. Let me move that tree back. Let me draw a two-point line. Because we have changed the center as far as Corel's concerned. Let me zoom in here. Yep, we're right on the center. Let's take our virtual segment delete key and delete this line. Take our 
two-point line and erase it. Just hit delete. Control D, make a duplicate of it. And by holding down the control key, I've made that tree at right angles. You would have done it with more nodes. And I'm just checking to make sure it's filled in. And you could change the bottom. You know, if you weren't happy with the bottom, you know, it's never too late to change things. You could take your node and move it out. Make sure it's level on that plane. Now, if you wanted it perfectly even, which you would, we haven't welded it together or done anything. So now we could control D, holding down the control button and just move that handle over. And a lot of times when you do that, you're going to leave a spot, but I'm pretty sure it's filled. But just by chance, something's not filled. I'm going to take a rectangle. I'm going to get my smart fill tool. I'm going to fill it in so it did not leak. So I did not need the rectangle. But that's, if you have a lot of things on your page, a lot of times that will, uh, you know, like the one I drew first. No, the only difference is I had more nodes. So I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.